Hi guys, uh, welcome to another EG tutorial. My name is Shah, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do like a walking trigger door animation thing. So, uh, for this door, if you don't click it and just walk near it, it's going to open, and if you go further, uh, it's going to close it. Like if you walk near it, it's going to open, and walk past it, it's going to close, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create this. Uh, I'm going to rely on my previous tutorial scripts, like there should be four parts now. If you haven't seen those videos, um, I highly encourage you to go and watch them. I'll put links for those videos uh, in this one's description. And let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, to start off, let's go and create a plane. Uh, this would act uh, as a ground plane for our player to walk about. Okay, something like this. This is fine. Okay. Now let's go to assets, import package and character controller. And just import this. Uh, this is a standard assets um, character controller scripts uh, that we're going to use. So let it import. Okay, so if you go to standard assets and inside cat controller, uh, you have the first person controller. <coughs> Sorry, I uh, just drag that in and then I want you to use this uh, center like this. So, as you can see, the character controller that was imported is uh, it's, it's a bit small compared to the door um, objects that we have, so I'm just gonna change the the height so if you go select the first person controller and go to character controller uh, component and you can uh, set the radius and the height like so okay and the offset as well so just keep it like this that's fine uh, make sure your um, character controller character controller's bottom is uh, it's slightly above the ground plane I mean if it's if it's like this it's gonna fall through the ground plane it's not gonna collide with it so make sure it's uh, it's a bit higher okay I'm just gonna go and resize the, the capsule as well just to see it visually Okay, something like this. That should be fine. Okay, so as you can see, there's a there's a main camera inside the first person controller. Uh, so we don't need the main camera that we had before in our scene. So we, uh, you can delete the main camera outside. Uh, outside main camera, uh, like so. We just need one camera. Okay. Okay, so. I just move this guy back and then play the scene as you can see uh, you can walk about uh, using WASD keys or uh, arrow keys and you can just uh, select on a door and it will work okay cool that's fine now let's select the door pivot and make a duplicate of it and move it to the side like this let's call the new door arm trigger door pivot okay all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to our scripts folder and i'm going to create a new script called um, trigger door okay Um, and let's go in there and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for automatic job which is I'm gonna inherit from the interactive object script so that we have all the properties uh, of the interactive object script in this but additionally I'm gonna have a on trigger enter I'll explain what this does so this is a if you select double click this and go to help uh, unity api reference it's going to show um, 
the API reference for that class. So, no, oh, sorry, uh, for that method. So, this is what we need, right? So, I'm just gonna copy paste that. Okay. If you don't know the all the methods and you know uh, the things, you can just find out from uh, from this uh, uh, API reference. Which is, this is really helpful. Okay. So we need on trigger enter and on trigger exit. So I'll explain what this does. Okay. So let's have two debug logs. Let's call this on trigger enter and exit okay so what this does is so uh, before I explain let's uh, do something else as well just go to unity and select uh, trigger door pivot right and then remove interactive object script from this and attach trigger door script okay right what this uh, on trigger enter method does is uh, when you when you collide with uh, this game objects collider uh, it's gonna give us a notification so if you if, uh, for instance uh, when we collide uh, collide with the doors uh, box collider component with our first person controllers character controller uh, collider it's gonna uh, this debug log is gonna trigger, and we uh, when we exit, this uh, debug log is gonna trigger. Okay, um, you can go to the the script uh, API reference and uh, read the description and uh, have a better under understanding of uh, what these method methods do. Okay, right. Uh, one other thing we need to do is we need to go to the uh, trigger door object and expand the uh, yeah the size uh, of the collider box collider of the door just slightly right so that when we go near it when we actually cross this box collider it will trigger the animations okay something like this so I'll just make it a bit like this okay so now when I play the scene and if I walk near the door, uh, trigger door, it's going to trigger uh, oh actually it's going to collide with this, ok sorry. So one more thing you need, you need to press uh, uh, the trigger doors is trigger checkbox uh, True, and you need to add a physics treated body component and take uh, take out the use gravity. Okay. And now when you go, it's gonna say uh, on trigger enter uh, on the on the console here. Okay. See on trigger enter on trigger exit. Right? Okay. So now what we need to do is go into the trigger dot object and we're gonna call um, the trigger interaction method, right? Which is which is on this uh, object. So if we um, call trigger interaction So whenever we go near the door, it's gonna open, and whenever we go outside, it's gonna close. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, one other thing. Take out. Uh, Why is it when you play?
Oh, okay, it's colliding with the okay. So if you do this. Um, so I guess you noticed what was going wrong. So when when I initially play the scene without me doing anything, it just uh, opens the door and it uh, calls on trigger enter um, here. So why that happens is uh, it's colliding with the the ground plane here and uh, it's triggering that uh, uh, it's triggering this. Um, right, which we don't need actually. Right, see, okay. So, in order for us to not do that, we could either just move the the box collider of the door just slightly higher to the ground so that it doesn't collide with it. A better way of doing it is if you go to the uh, the first person controller, right, and tag it as the player, like so. And if you go to the on trigger enter script, right? I'm uh, sorry, method. And if you check for that tag, so the collider other game object dot tag. If it's equal to player, then we're gonna then we're gonna do this. If not, um, we're gonna do nothing. Okay, so if it collides with the, the ground plane, it's not going to do anything. So, if but if it collides with the player, then it's going to open or close, right? So, see, uh, it's, it's doing nothing now. So, if you go near it, it should open and close. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's colliding with the, the ground plane, but it's not doing anything, right? Um, okay. Hope that's clear, um, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.